Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. Today we are going to see NS 3.42 installation in Ubuntu 24.04. Ubuntu BIOS was recently launched in the month of April 2024 and NS 3.42 also launched in the month of May 2024. So now first we will download the software from nsnam.org as per the link given in the description window. Just please download it. After that, after download, you just copy the file to the home folder. Now here is the link and once uh, it is downloaded, just it will be the downloads, uh, downloads folder. Just copy the file from the downloads folder and uh, paste it to the home folder as it indicated here. So right click, copy and uh, home and paste. So once it is done, you can uh, right click over that particular file and click extract. If you are using Ubuntu 22.04, it will be click extract here. But here it is uh, the recent OS have just extract. So automatically this uh, folder will be this file will be extracted into a folder and our uh, file and our folder structure will be ready. Now this particular part is done. Now we will let us go into the prerequisites. Actually, if you are trying for NS 3.38, 3.39, 3.40, 3.41, the same instruction will work out well. So you need not struggle for all these versions, including 3.42, it works fine. So first what we can do is we will just uh, open a new terminal and then uh, in the terminal we will just uh, update our package manager. So for that we give the command sudo apt update. So that's the first command that we can give in a terminal sudo apt update. So once the update package manager is installed, then we'll come back here. So I have just given the extensive list of uh, packages which is to be installed before we install NS3. All these packages may or may not be needed, but uh, to have the safe installation, we will install all these packages to make NS3 completely installed without any bugs or errors. So this will download somewhere around 660 MB and which comes up to 2.5 GB. So so this might take some time so but uh, for want of the uh, video to be shorter duration i have just uh, reduced uh, most of these things and i just given you uh, the faster installation process so once it is done so we have installed the prerequisites and we have installed we have downloaded the ns3 software and we have extracted so now what we have to do is now we have to go to the installation so in case uh, you can inst uh, you can uh, open another new terminal where we can uh, able to install the ns all in one 3.42 so now we have already extracted the software or unzipped into the home folder so in my case the home folder is slash home slash pradeep kumar so that is what my folder the home folder but in your case you can check out what is your home folder okay so now open another new terminal yes so a new terminal is being opened i have given the complete instruction uh, below the description window below the video we can use these commands and here so this is what the extracted folder what we got so just go into the folder by using the command cd space ns hyphen all in one hyphen 3.42 uh, just to give this command dot slash build dot py space double hyphen enable hyphen examples space double hyphen enable hyphen tests so once it is done so for me this process took somewhere around uh, more than an hour because I am running on a virtual machine but in case if you are running on a standalone Linux machine uh, it might take somewhere around 20 minutes if you have a 16 GB RAM or something but since I have only 4 GB RAM and running on a VM with a 2 core processor this process took just more than an hour for me but uh, this might vary for uh, your uh, computer specifications so let's wait for the installation gets completed So this uh, command will install all the packages like network animation 
and uh, net uh, wire shark then visualizer then uh, there are various other uh, wireless uh, modules wide modules network modules satellite modules so everything will be installed at the end of the installation it will be showing you all the packages that were already built and some packages might might not have built because of some dependencies so those also will be listed at the end of the installation so uh, many scholars and many students will have a difficulty in installing these packages but if you follow my video uh, you can able to resolve it uh, completely because i installed the ubuntu operating system right from the scratch and then and then i just try to build the complete software so totally there are packages somewhere around 1900 plus modules will be installing and this is what the end screen you will be getting so you can see that the modules configured to be built so these are the modules which i am just selecting and the model which are not been built is uh, the click modular router visualizer mpi and open flow now this what we have just uh, installed so once it is installed we need to check whether our installer is working fine or not so for that we have the so the installation is completed as i as i told you it took more than 1 hour for me as i run, run a virtual machine inside my intel macbook pro so though i have 16 gb ram but the for the ubuntu os i have just given the provision of just 4 gigabytes of ram so now let me see i will open a new terminal or within the existing existing terminal we need to go to ns all in one 3.42 and ns hyphen 3.42 there you can see we got one executable called as or a binary file called as ns3 is created so now we can use dot slash ns3 run hello hyphen simulator so once you do this command it will be showing you an output called as hello simulator so this indicates that our ns3 was installed successfully maybe we will run some more network example first dot cc and similarly second dot cc so that means so uh, it is installed successfully so this indicates that ns3 is installed successfully and follow our channel for more such videos and for recompilation and advanced simulations join our channel thanks for watching